morning it's monday it's my favorite day of the week it's a new week and all the opportunity that, that presents is in front of us as you can tell i'm feeling a bit better than i felt all weekend well it's 906 the Tesco shopping's arrived. It's a busy old day today, dropping parcels and the Tesco shopping arriving. So much excitement. Yeah, the Tesco shopping's just arrived. I'm going to film that because I've been requested to do so um, when I get home. And um, just, I've just done my parcels, such as they are. It's been a quietish weekend. Although I am hopeful with eBay. Um, view levels, view, um, item views have definitely gone up. Um, over the weekend although I have had sales they've all been pretty low value so um, I'm grateful for every single sale I'm getting I should say so I'm not upset about that at all but um, be nice to sell a little bit more this week um, anyway plans for the day I'm gonna go home and film that grocery haul and put it all away um, I'm going to do some eBay listing. I've got to edit and upload yesterday's video. Today's housework job is the lounge and dining room, so I need to do that. I've got the last few cupboards of the brown unit to tidy out today. And I keep saying this. I think I mentioned in yesterday's video. It was yesterday's video, but you won't see it. I've seen it as yesterday, so I've mentioned in a video of late that you've seen um, that. I find the time between five o'clock and eight o'clock in the evening quite difficult, particularly when Ashley's cooking dinner, because I, I'm not cooking dinner, so I ever, I just find that time, a time that I tend to scroll through social media and the news and um, lots of time to think, and I don't find that's been a good thing the last few days. So I've decided I'm definitely going to start that jigsaw tonight. Let's see if I've actually managed to start it by the end of the day, shall we? But yeah, I've decided that that's what I'm, planning to do oh that's interesting i've just seen the butcher's delivery van i wasn't sure if the butcher was delivering but he is so that's good because it's very difficult to get any meat from the tesco's order there was um i tried to get some beef any old beef a roasting joint or some stewing beef or anything and it just was not happening which isn't a disaster you know but um that I think we might phone the butchers and do a meat order with them as I've just seen their van and they're delivering. Anyway, it's another beautiful sunny morning. Um, that's my plan for Monday. I hope everybody else is um, doing okay. And um, yeah, that's it for now. I'll come back to you later. Well, it's about getting on for four o'clock, I think. And um, had a busy, productive morning. Got loads done, stopped for lunch. And I started watching a series on Netflix called Virgin River um, that a couple of people have recommended before all this kicked off. Actually, it was on my list before that. Um, I only watched the first half of the first episode, but it looked quite good. Um, grabbing myself a Diet Coke from the fridge or not, as somebody has taken the last Diet Coke and not put any fresh ones in. Doesn't that annoy you? really pisses me right off that I've just been super petty and put three new Diet Cokes into the fridge and hidden them behind everything else it's William who doesn't refill it I know that hidden them behind everything else so that only I will know they're there because like a typical boy he won't bother looking behind stuff to find his Diet Coke anyway I have got Pepsi cherry Pepsi I think Pepsi Max cherry which is fine and I'm just about to embark upon a boring job accompanied by some YouTube. I'm going to sort out these two boxes of keys. These are all our spare keys. And they need sorted. They're, pr they're pretty much organised, I think. But we've got this whole box that has been... All these were here when we moved into the house, pretty much. And... Um, these padlocks I don't think do anything or they do, or there's various random keys so I'm just going to go through it and sort it all out and see well I've just had a 
hour, I think, probably the best part of an hour, sorting out all the egg piece, edge pieces of my jigsaw. I've finally started my jigsaw. This is the one that I am making. Um, yeah, I made a good start on it, and I found it quite relaxing and pleasant. I listened to a bit of YouTube. I started off by listening to the five o'clock broadcast, which was the Home Secretary talking about how they're going to get some of the people who are stranded abroad home. They've put £75 million pounds into that and they're partnering with some airlines to try and bring people home, so that's nice. And the death toll for the last two days in the UK has been lower and the increase in infections has flattened a little bit. So, or increase in people who have the virus, I should say. So that's kind of positive, that's nice. Um, you know, that's not to take away in any way from the poor people who have lost their family members, you know, obviously it's absolutely awful, but um, anyway, I'm about to make a start on the dinner, spicy pork pad thai, which I'm filming for a different video, so which you will already have seen by the time you watch this, so um, I'm going to probably sign off for the day because this is going to be a two-day vlog, which you'll see the following day. Good morning, good morning, it's Tuesday, it's nine o'clock and I'm about to start my working day. Sun's out, but it don't let that deceive you. It's blimmin' quite cold this morning. But I'm not complaining, I'll take that. Let me turn, where can you get? I'm not gonna get it out here, are we? I'm not going to get any decent light. Unless, perhaps if I move into this corner, will I avoid the sun? No, absolutely not. Well, that was a fun dance around the balcony, wasn't it? I shaved my face this morning. I watched a few YouTube videos on dermaplaning. Let's go in so you can actually see it. I'm just going to make coffee before I go to the office, so I'll take you with me for that. I shaved my face. I watched some YouTube videos on how to do it, and I went for it and actually did it. And I'm actually quite pleased with it. God, the light is terrible. There we are. That's better. I feel like my makeup went on so much more easily this morning. Also got a new eyeshadow palette, which I will show you later, which I am wearing today for a sort of smoky eye look. Um, but yeah, the whole the face shaving thing was easy, took less than five minutes. Didn't cut myself disastrously or shave my eyebrows off, so that was a win. <laughs> Things you would never have done if it was not for lockdown. Face shaving is definitely going to be one of them. But I like it. My skin felt... My skin hasn't felt, sorry I've got a slightly runny nose, my skin hasn't felt so clean and a lot of dead skin comes off as well as the little peach fuzz and uh, my skin, even though I exfoliate loads, my skin hasn't felt so clean and fresh for as long as I can remember to be honest. So yeah, I was really, really pleased with how it's come out. and. Although I'm not sure you can see an awful lot of difference, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments what you think. Sorry, let me turn you again. Um, I do feel perhaps it looks a little more glowy and perhaps it looks a little bit fresher. I don't know. Um, certainly, it was much easier to put on my face makeup and blend it and everything. My foundation went on just like a dream. Um, in my mirror at my dressing table, I didn't think I could see a whole load of difference as to how my makeup looked. But in the viewfinder, I do feel, I'm right in the light at my dressing table, there's a the, the lot of light coming in, so, you know, it shows up every imperfection. But um, in the viewfinder, I think it looks better. Let me know what you think. Anyway, Tuesday, plan for today, I've just put on a whole load of washing. I seem to have so much more laundry during lockdown, I think, because Ashley's doing loads of dirty jobs in the garden and plumbing and all sorts of stuff. And uh, so he's getting loads of dirty clothes every day rather than sitting at a desk in a suit and a shirt and tie. Um, William always produces a lot of laundry when he's home, so that's probably it as well. Um, anyway, I'm going to make a coffee. I'm going to go and do yesterday's video. I'm going to do some eBay listings, all my usual morning stuff, and I will come back to you a bit later. I'm going mad, literally insane here. I thought I'd not filmed it. I realised that I filmed something this morning and then I couldn't find it and I've already downloaded it to the computer. It's the trouble with vlogging every day and using the same memory card. You end up with all of your stuff all mixed up, all on one, in one place. And it's difficult to find. Anyway, I've had a productive morning. Have you had a productive morning, Mr Matthews? 
yeah. What have you done today? I've been tidying and organising and getting stuff to chuck out and put 40 pints of beer on to brew just <laughs> in case. Apocalypse beer we're going yeah, to call it. That's right. <laughs> Never know when the world might run out of beer, so it's best to be making your own. <laughs> I am now going to go out to the eBay room. Ashley wants to reclaim some of it to put the summer furniture in. Um, it's actually already in there, all stacked up. But I'm going to see if I can move it all to one end. To William's there in his little dog hovel. Say good morning, vlog. Good morning, vlog. <laughs> Um, it's not actually morning anymore, I think it's getting on for one o'clock. I feel like I'm getting into a rhythm of my days now. I actually feel happy and light and okay this morning. Which is a nice feeling, isn't it? Um, yeah, Ashley has cleared out. Let me pop you back down that way. Ashley has cleared out all of this end, which is the kitchen end. This, someone was asking the other day about my tequila bar that we were going to build in the garden. It is still going to be built, but it's not a high priority at the moment. So this is all my tequila bottles, empty, I might add, which I collect to put, which we're going to be put into it for decoration when we finally build it. But yeah, the Ashley's cleared out all of in here, been tidying and everything. And it's looking loads, loads better. Um, He's going to brew his beer in here. And then this is the end that is my eBay room. Um, it was originally a conservatory. I suppose it still is a conservatory, really. Uh, this is the furniture that we want to put. I'm going to try and move everything eBay. I've got the barbecue there as well and the running machine. Um, this is just a cupboard here. Someone asked about that the other day. And then there's a little loo in. Through it. I don't know how well you can see that. Can you see that? If I little loo and basin in there um we got doors here out to the patio but this is my ebay room this is my little packing area and then this is all storage i don't like to stuck the boxes more than three high because they makes them more difficult to get at um this is unlisted stock that needs sorting but everything else in here is listed then i've got some rails over here of listed stock and some boxes of listed stock and i want to try and move all of this into this end sort of from here onwards which i think i can do but it's just going to be a bit of reorganizing right look we've done this at this end which looks a lot better and i've moved hang on we just put the spare rails there with uh, that's like an outdoor rug just over the top to make a little screen barbecue is now back there and all of my ebay stuff is now in that half of the room which is Good, that's better, isn't it? Yes, Caroline. Yes, Caroline. Good. Right, stock organisation done. And time for a little beauty segment. My makeup revolution order arrived. I don't know why they put it in such a bloody big box. It's ridiculous, isn't it? But I'm just grateful they're still. Um, what's the word? They are still doing online shopping, which is good. Um, right. I ordered four eyeshadow palettes. It was three for two on, what am I trying to say? Sorry, I'm very distracted. It was three for two on all full price stuff. Um, no, yes, full three for two on all full price stuff. And there was some um, cheaper stuff as well. Um, one of them, three were full price. One was in the sale, I think. Can't remember exactly what I paid. It was less than 20 quid for the four. So I just thought I'd show you. This is what I wanted to start with. This one is called the Revolution Reloaded Deep Dive Palette. And it's got some really interesting shades of green and blue. And I wanted to do some more experimenting with green and blues because I really like the green that I wore last week. A lot of you commented how nice it was. Um, I really like this sort of, I don't know what you call that. It's almost like a khaki green, isn't it? It's a matte and I really like that. Today I have got on my eyes. I don't know how well you can see that, but I've got on um, this sort of dark pewtery metallic 
grey here on the inner corner and outer corner and um, then I've got this in the middle which I think is a gorgeous shade let me just swatch that see if I can do a decent swatch of that for you I am so hopeless at swatching you really need proper lights to swatch in any decent way that there we are that's what that one looks like I think that's a really unusual pretty sort of goldy green I really like that and then I've got this color sort of going up into my crease today which is sort of a pale silvery gray um really looking forward to experimenting with this color and this sort of navy blue down here as well I think that's really interesting and um, the purpley one up on this corner and also that one I think that all of the colors in here I think are really quite interesting so I'm looking forward to um trying out some of those out for different looks and then I also got this which is the Revolution Reloaded Smoky Neutrals um this reminded me a lot of the shades in this reminded me of the Urban Decay um Naked Smoky Palette or is it I can't remember what it's called exactly but I, I really liked all the neutrally colors that are quite cool toned a lot of these and um I can't open that because it's still got the stickery thing on it but yeah lots of interesting shades in that and again the sort of bluey colors I was quite interested in there so that one then I got this cute little avocado palette which is called mini tasty avocado um <laughs> it's a ridiculous name for an eyeshadow palette isn't it um and these are the colours in this. I didn't realise quite how glittery these ones are, but I think I can probably make them work. And you've got three sort of neutrals. You've got this very bright lime green almost here, and then a darker green there, and then a brownie colour there. Um, particularly like this green again. Let me... I think that's really fun and interesting. Not sure that I'm brave enough to wear that, but... Um, I'm going to enjoy trying to find a way to make that work and uh, this darker green up here which finger haven't I swatched with that one I also think is really interesting that's that one there it's quite dark but it's got that sort of metallic um changeover what do you call it oh god speak I'm having so many days of not being able to speak recently the longer I vlog every day the more I seem to lose the ability to speak and then finally got I got this one isn't that pretty I could just look at that all day and this is called the snow globe arctic palette and it was probably the outside of it that I loved most of all really and that's what that one looks like shades of purple and some neutrals as well and I thought those were all nice colours I, like, I haven't got many purples surprisingly and I quite like purple so I thought that was would be a good selection to experiment with and have I got a spare finger let's do that middle one there which is quite a nice there's quite a lot of um, pigment in that isn't there that's nice that sort of go, goes a sort of pinky browny red that's a really interesting shade let's try one of the others now I'm going to try that top left one there probably top right for you let's go down there with that see they're, they're coming out a lot redder than they look in the palette aren't they that's quite interesting that one's very much a very very red color interesting so i'm looking forward to playing with those and i will of course show you all the different looks and if you ask me did i need four more eye palettes the answer would be a very definite no am i happy i've got four new eye palettes a very definite yes now i'm going to go wash that off my hair I have one of my kale and avocado wraps for breakfast, so I'm not massively hungry, so I've made myself some celery sticks and some little squares of cheese for lunch. Right, I'm getting an early start on dinner tonight. It's half four, so I'm going to... I'm making two pasta bakes tonight. The reason for this is that actually likes tuna pasta bake, and William prefers bacon in his pasta bake, which normally I'd go, just go... It's pasta baked with tuna, William just eat it. But lockdown, it's not like I haven't got time to make two different ones. 
and food is one of the things you look forward to isn't it meals when there's not a lot going on so i'm gonna make bacon pasta bake for will tuna pasta bake for ashley um right so i've just discovered that i've got these leeks and cheese sauce left over from um, Sunday dinner, we had leeks and cheese sauce with our roast on Sunday. So for William, I'm gonna make a leek cheesy sauce. I'm gonna add some onion and bacon to that basically and maybe some sweet corn, add the pasta into that and bake it like that rather than a tomato base. And for Ashley and me, I'm gonna do a tuna and peppers and tomato and herb sort of pasta sauce. Um, maybe with a couple of mushrooms in as well. And yeah, that's, that's how I'm making my pasta bakes today. I'll show you them when they're ready. This is all going pretty well. Got my tuna tomato pasta sauce for me and Ashley. The leek bacon and I popped in some sweet corn into that one as well for Will. I'm just gonna probably put a little bit of oregano in there as well. Um, and then pasta. This is my top tip for cooking pasta that I've done for absolutely years. Saves energy therefore saves money. Um, bring your water to the boil with your pasta in it, not from cold, I generally put the pasta in the pan, fill up the pan from the kettle, bring it to the boil, turn it off completely, put a lid on it and leave it for the amount of time it says on the back of the packet, which is normally nine minutes. Um, yeah, turn it off, it will cook just in the heat that's already in there as long as you put a tight lid on it. Um, so you don't need to have the gas on. And I've cooked my pasta that way for years. I will generally do it for about a minute less when I'm doing a pasta bake, because obviously it's gonna cook more in the oven, so I want it to be a little bit al dente. Right, that's two pasta bakes ready to go into the oven. They are looking yummy. It is six o'clock, almost. And I am sitting down with my jigsaw, my glass of wine. So much for not having a drink during the week and my mini cheddars. And I'm doing my jigsaw. I watched the Chancellor's briefing. Actually, it wasn't the Chancellor. It was, um, I honestly don't know who it was. I was only listening <laughs> as I was cooking at the same time. Michael Gove, maybe? Don't know. Anyway, watched that, turned off the telly. Jigsaw, Ashley's just come in from outside. He's been spraying the fence out the back today, which I will show you tomorrow or the next day. I might have a day off filming tomorrow, I think because um, I've got some Q&As to go up on the in betweeny days. Um, might try an online shop with me as well at some point. Lots of ideas bubbling away in my head. But I think I'm going to finish this off for today. Pasta Bake is ready for dinner tonight. Um, I think Will and I, we were, we missed our, we were going to watch Pe Peaky Blinders at three, but Will was helping Ashley out in the garden. So um, I think we're going to do that after dinner tonight. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Hope everybody's keeping well and safe and settling into this obviously extended period of being at home. I think it's going to be longer than the initial three weeks, they said, but I think we all knew that anyway, didn't we? But um, yeah, I hope you're all keeping well and safe and happy, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.